Holgaruna versus Andre Rublev is the final of the Monte Carlo Masters for 2023. And both guys have had to fight to get to the final stage. Runa entered the tournament as a number six seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Dominic Team, who was starting to look like he was in a little bit of form after a good win against Gasquet. But Runa was too strong, getting through in straight sets, 6-2, 6-4. In the third round, Runa was supposed to take on Berrettini, who had just played an epic match against Serendolo. But unfortunately, Berrettini had to withdraw with an abdominal strain, handing Runa the walkover to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Runa would take on the number three seed, Medvedev, who was showing everybody that he could actually play on clay by beating Zverev after saving match points in the previous round. But unfortunately for Medvedev, Runa was too crafty and too skilled and took Medvedev out in straight sets, 6-3, 6-4, to advance to the semi-finals. In the semi-final, Runa would take on the number seven seed Sinner, who had just beaten Musetti in the previous round. And after going down the first set and a long rain delay, Runa would fight back to win 1-6-7-5-7-5 to reach his second Masters 1000 final. Rublev started the tournament off as the number five seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Munar, and after dropping the first set, Rublev would have to fight back to win 4-6-6-2-6-2. In the third round, he'd take on Countryman Hashinov, the number nine seed, who had been sneaking through the draw. But after a close first set, Rublev got through in straights, 7-6-6-2, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rublev would take on the qualifier Struff, who had been the surprise of the tournament. And after a very close second set, Rublev would eventually get through in straights, 6-1-7-6, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Rublev would take on the number eight seed, Fritz, who had just taken out the two-time defending champion, City Pass in the previous round. And after dropping the first set, Runa would fight back to win 5-7-6-1-6-3 to get to his second Monte Carlo Masters final. These two guys have played the two times before with the head-to-head -head split straight down the middle and their last match being the Australian Open in a five-set epic where Rublev saved match points and came back to win against Runa. Having a look at the shot quality thanks to Tennis Insights and the 52-week average of both these guys, in the serve, return, forehand and backhand, Rublev has the edge over Runa with the biggest standout being the return of serve and the forehand on the Rublev side. Runa, though, is very close on the backhand side, so maybe he can exploit that and also needs to serve well if he's going to get over the line and win his second Masters 1000 event and deny Rublev. Shot quality is a part of a range of new insights from the team at Tennis Insights. It is calculated in real time and analyzes each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and impact on the opponent. The number of the player cards are actually the 52-week rolling averages. Go check them out on Twitter, link down below. This is going to be such a great matchup. We saw an epic match in Australia in a five-setter earlier in the year, and Rublev got the win that day, but I think Runa is going to take the win today in three sets in a very close one, but let me know in the comments below who do you think is going to win the Monte Carlo Masters this year.